Oh, that was on me. I had us both muted this whole time. Either neither of us were talking? No. <laughs> That's so fun. Anyway. What, do what, I, is, what, what does our dad Sona look like? Um, I don't know. Are we cis or trans? Are, are we making a representation of you? Are we making just a dad for fun? I think a dad for fun. Okay, then we should totally be a trans dad. Okay, I think so too. Skinny legend trans dad? Big legend trans dad? Buff legend trans dad. I think being the safe athletic bod isn't fun. We either right. have to be like squishy dad or ectomorph dad. Yeah. Hmm. Why don't we cosplay as a sick Victorian child? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. It looks like we've been starving on the streets of London. Yes. Okay, we have to go as pale as possible. <laughs> did, did, did they have hair back in the day or not? Did they have hair? That's a good question. <laughs> Most Victorian children are <laughs> as having hair. <laughs> well, not like body hair. If we're are we a child or are we like a sick Victorian adult? We're we're a sick Victorian adult. Then we have hair. It's the Victorian era. Okay, perfect. Ooh. Ooh. Which one looks the most sallow and malnourished? Uh. This one? That yeah, I mean, we have, like, cheekbones. They would never have shadow in the Victorian era, right? No, that wasn't their thing. Never. Oh, there's so many options. Ooh. Yeah. That's giving... Ooh. I don't know. I'm team... If we're going for long hair, I think we need to go for, like, the unlayered, just long hair. This one? Yeah. What color? Mm, that's hard. I think... I think we should just make... Like, black is a good option. Um, yeah. Let's continue then. <laughs> what? This is so scary! <laughs> We made Jeff the killer. Should we be sad and tired? Oh, or done and tired? Oh yeah, we're we're tired for sure. Yeah, we're literally starving. That is not a bad option. I think that's my favorite so far. I think this one. This one's calling yeah, to me. Those are my favorite too. Yellow eyes, yellow fever. When we're a vampire. Oh my god, wait. Wait. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm just... Um, I'm oh. getting the feeling that we're gonna date the vampire dad. Uh, I don't know why you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just picking up that, like, we'll have a lot in common. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, I like that pointy nose. This one? I mean, yes, I also like that nose. This one? That one. This yeah. one. Okay. I think it's kind of fun. Yeah, I like this one. Mouth. Mouth. Oh! Maybe it would help if we weren't the color of fucking paper. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> give me tuberculosis or give me death. Okay, anyway, moving on. Oh man, everything makes us look so mean. I know, except for this <laughs> one, but this one we just look depressed. Honestly, I think those are my favorite. Yeah, me too. It's, yeah. 
Our heads look so big on our body. <laughs> I was like, what is it about this that is making me so <laughs> uncomfortable? Uh-huh. Oh god. <laughs> it's crazy how much a head shape can change a change a man. <laughs> like this one just doesn't feel right. You know? Okay. To be honest, this is your dad. You're in charge. I kinda wanna be That's a pretty kind of dad. dad. Like he he's pretty, you know? Yeah. Literally like heartbreakingly gorgeous. Yeah. He's moving into this new neighborhood and everyone's like, oh my god, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. Bro. I kind of like this one. No, yeah, I'm like, if we do facial hair, it has to be one of like the wispy ones. Yeah, yeah. I'm down for this one. Okay, I like this one. He's pierced up, think. bro. Yeah, I like the ear piercing. Hooray! Silver? Vampires can't touch silver, right? Uh, true. I mean, like... <laughs> I don't know, the black is hard to see, though, so that's yeah. hard. The white is nice. Yeah. We could do white. Okay, love it. Wait, why did we just make serious black? Or the kid suit, you know? I feel like Jonathan Sims would wear this. Jonathan Sims! <laughs> I'm not against it. It'd be our best week. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. Love it. I like he him. Is, he's a blank canvas. Yes. Yes. He's, he's ready to try new things. Mm. Explore the world. Okay. okay, is this our man? I think so. I'm excited. Okay, I love him. Yay! Look at good daddy. <gasps> oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's like a sexy Victorian name. Let's Google some. Okay. Victorian names. Edwin. Edwin, not a bad one. <gasps> we That's could name him Jasper. One. We could. I'm not against that. I like that one. Jasper. Okay. The last name's gonna be hard. Should we look up Victorian last names? Those are just current last names. <laughs> That's. I didn't think about that one. <laughs> Cunningham. Look, it's fancy. Huh? Huh? We we could go with fancy one. A Jasper Cunningham. What a man. What a man. Okay. Cunningham. Love it. Be that dad. I'm so excited. <laughs> ah! I'm so ready to be that dad. I'm so ready to be that dad. I don't think I've ever been more ready for anything. Yeah? Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler, huh? What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Yeah! Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin to look through it. Huh. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Ooh, ooh! <gasps> so many choices! Mm. Let me think. Let me think in my brain. <laughs> you, use your noggin. Your mother. Okay. Represent. Bisexual people in the house. Woo the only way your mother and I, the only and the only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we try to take them off, you start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. 
Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four? Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. Mm -hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> right, yeah. Definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. Hmm. Dad! I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Ooh. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Ooh. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. Ouch, kid. <laughs> the Skebamusis Manifesto? <laughs> Had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. No, Dad. That's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Aww. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it like... A little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Uh, tried to steal Prince's pet, tied a flaming tennis ball to police. Whoa! Put their pants <laughs> during a sleepover. <laughs> I would cry if one of my friend's parents remembered me for pooping <laughs> my pants. <laughs> um... um Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? God, that was you. What? Ugh, how could we forget? Oh, right. <laughs> that was a wild child. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Uh. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Huh? <laughs> anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. <laughs> yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. Heck yeah, dude. And then, you got food poisoning from the Cheesy Tostada Blasts. Heck yeah, I did. <laughs> I think you need food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Uh, Dad. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Mm -hmm. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Tear. I never realized that that jacket is the one Amanda's wearing. <gasps> OMG! I'm Aww. gonna cry. Oh, that's so sad and cute. <laughs> Finally, I decide to break the silence. Ooh. <gasps> Lore. Hmm. Lore alert, lore alert. Thinking in my brain. She was adopted. Too true. So I remember true. when we did that. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot, but of course I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But you're a mother. Oh man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen her. She says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Hmm. She 
was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss her. Literally, she looks so beautiful. <laughs> I miss her so much. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. <laughs> she pats me on the back. Come on, Fox. We gotta finish packing. Moving van won't wait for forever. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hmm? Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had a very strong had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Hey, remember when I broke the back window playing we get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Huh. And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Heck yeah. Memories to make and stuff to break. Huh. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up to this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get into the car. Into I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So, so what? Hmm? So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. <clears throat> <laughs> Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features hmm. multiple places to sleep. <laughs> Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit my fault, Pop. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Huh. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. What would be a lot- Oh my god, what would be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is- you know. Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Mm -hmm. Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Hmm. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, oh. but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Huh. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. It is it. I'm just gonna ignore that. Huh. But I won't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Hmm. Pox, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. hi yeah. And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a 
problem with authority. I'm so proud. <laughs> Man, all that karate chopping took your feet out. I could really go for a sandwich. Huh. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. We need to unpack first. We need to copy ASAP. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? <sighs> I'm a dad. I'm a dad. We need to unpack first. Ugh. I'm a serious. Curses. I'm a serious dad here. Curses. As much as I would like, I would also like to enjoy a delicious and healthy ice cream sando right now. We got work to do, kiddo. And we need to make it snappy because there are five sealed crates of DVD box sets blocking off the bathroom and I gotta pee real bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't let the entire cast of all 13 seasons of Shark Tank but with actual sharks stand in your way. Get to it. Phew. Yeah. Don't skip the corners. Slay. I get to work on unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Am I, am I this guy? Uh, yeah, cause I'm me. Okay. Hello! <gasps> A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Jasper. That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know that she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. Hmm. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Oh, oh, oh Joseph. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. What a knee slapper. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Oh. Well, thanks for the cookies. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Mm. Amanda, come And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Mm. <laughs> Daughters are tough. No, they're not. <laughs> Sons are also tough. Yeah, they are. Oh. <laughs> In general, are just tough. Joseph, you are so wise. <laughs> I smartest hear that. Man. Literally, we have the smartest guy as our neighbor. <laughs> with such great clothes. True. I hear that. I mean, they'd have to be there'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. I have four kids. Oh. Right. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Oh, uh, I meant... Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. She died. Oh. Uh. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, <laughs> this is uncomfortable. <laughs> we stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? <laughs> 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 so, bye. <laughs> I look at Joseph quizzically but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. <laughs> hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. 
throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. <laughs> well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Josie starts to walk away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Yeah, you are. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. <laughs> <laughs> you look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Oh my god, are you flirting with me? <laughs> are you winking right now? <laughs> and with that, Joseph's gone. Well, he seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Hmm. They're gone. I'm sorry. You're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? <laughs> I guess that makes it break time. <laughs> <laughs> any ideas? <laughs> um, I could use some coffee. I really right. wish I had some cookies to eat right now, actually. Damn. Um, but, you know. <laughs> I think I we have it. cookies at the coffee shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, sidebar, Yeah. how much do you know about this game? Like, not nothing. Okay, cool. Oh. Okay, cool. But <laughs> I'm feeling a little sluggish, and coffee seems like the most responsible option than just taking a nap. I'm proud of you. Thanks, daughter. <laughs> okay, wait. Can I call you daddy? Since you're my father? Um, yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> we walk down the street to the coffee spoon. A cute little place on the corner. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, at least when I'm home, some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. Yeah. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go and set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flushed hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Aww. Dad. I'm just afraid to meet new people. Yes, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Walk inside. Duh, Amanda, do you even know me? <laughs> Literally. Oh, hey. Ooh. I remember your face. From my dreams. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got that one from Sleeping Beauty. If you know, wow. you know. Classic. I don't know if you've heard of it, but... That's pretty niche. Yeah, I know. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls, and patrons lounge around on well-worn-in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Am I- so am I all of the men? If you want to be. I can. I can do it. Okay. I don't know what- I'll figure it out. It'll come to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Oh, it's a uh, kind of dumb. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and now it's still a good idea because, like, business is still running. Hmm. People ask me that question all the time, and I keep them the same answer every time. Now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Oh, Lord. It's gonna be okay. Take a Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> so what'll it be? Oh. I scan the chalkboard menu, and am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Yes. <laughs> yes. A, a chai. A, 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 a black coffee. A chai. A black coffee. A chai. I have a follow-up question. Okay. As a person who's played this game obsessively multiple times, do you want me to let you know? I don't want to tell you like which answer is right. But I, like, do you want me to tell you when you're gonna pick a bad one? No. Okay. I have to live with my choices. Okay, I like that. Okay, I'm going so deep into character. Jasper hates black coffee, but he's scared. He's panicked. He, like, he's, only wants to order that. He's gonna accidentally order this. Okay. This happens to me <laughs> all the time. I went to okay. Starbucks. I went to Starbucks the other day, and I know uh -huh. what I want from Starbucks. And I went, "Can I get an Americano?" And I went, "Oh!" And then like I like choked on my spit a little bit, and then I had to be like with oat milk and vanilla because I was like I had to add like extra stuff to it because no way I was just gonna drink an Americano. Right, that's was, crazy people stuff. I was scared for my life. <laughs> So this is based off of real events. IRL events. This is just, yeah, you're playing the character who yeah. is you. Yeah, right, exactly. I am Jasper from Twilight, so. <laughs> <laughs> Godspeed, you black coffee. Oh. Classic. Oh, <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed You Black Emperor is a really amazing and influential progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes and I'm doing the thing again. But coming right up. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie small? Uh, medium. Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Yes. <laughs> Matt sets to making our drink, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you'll listen to anyway. <gasps> Amanda, my own <laughs> daughter. That was brutal. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Ska? <laughs> Ska was cool once. <laughs> this couch is pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumber su lumbar support. Lumber? <laughs> You sing. Lumber a piece of wood. <laughs> yeah, I love trees. <laughs> oak. Oak bones. You sink right into it. Okay. It's comfier than our couch. Oh no. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. Why would you say that? <laughs> you should totally become friends with him. Yeah, friends. Just be friends. Just friends. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Come on. What do you say about meeting new people? 
I can't meet new people if I am always inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new to the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Jasper. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. You gotta come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Is it cookies? <laughs> I'm working um, on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. <sighs> well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first, so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to get that banana bread a taste if you want us to improve creative flavor. I think that would be commiserate with, uh... I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right. Yes, that. Matt serves each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> this is amazing. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's. Grateful <laughs> banana bread. Bride said banana bread. What? <laughs> I feel like I'm not old enough. I feel like I'm... I don't know any. I don't know anything. We got the dead Kennedys, uh -huh. grateful, dead, uh -huh. and I don't know the bottom one. Right. Mm. <laughs> it's a hard one. It's a uh, yeah. I like that this one rhymes, right? Said True. banana bread. I agree. But I also like this one. Grateful <laughs> banana bread. It's such an awful pun. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> right said banana bread. Rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Whoa! <gasps> I'm really good at this. You don't even have to tell me. Like, you don't <laughs> even have to. I know. Literally, you I... guys are just soulmates. I know, I know, I know. <clears throat> like right said Fred, duh. But now yeah. it's about banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. Huh? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. Right said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. <laughs> Call me baby. Get just kidding. <laughs> Say it one more time. <laughs> I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professional. Who is a professional? <laughs> and I literally liked it. Enjoy your coffee. <laughs> I literally said, repeat what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> You should just say it again so you can practice saying it, right? It, exactly. Like, the more you say it, like, the better, the better you'll get at it, so. Oh my god, look at how smooth you are. Anyway. Thanks, baby. See? Sounds good when you say it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hello? Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself. Brooding over a cup of coffee, our eyes meet just for a moment. 
I hastily look away, <laughs> hoping to catch me staring. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> we finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Let's get some fresh air. I'm hyped. I have coffee in my system. It was black <laughs> coffee too. Like, imagine I'm drinking a black coffee and then going to bed. <laughs> That's crazy sauce. Oh my god, not me. Let's get some fresh air. Time to soak up all that vitamin D. Hope our bones make our bones nice and strong. Yeah. Our skeletons are gonna get so strong, they're gonna hop right off our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. Why is he just lingering <laughs> on the screen? Love the fact. <laughs> the creators were like, maybe Steve would want to look at him. Like, just stare at him, bro. We know you want to. Okay, alright. <laughs> Amanda, I already have an irrational fear that my skeleton will one day escape <laughs> this flesh sack and run amok. Please don't encourage it. Right. Sorry. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, to the park! Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. You've got good instincts. <laughs> good eye, honey. <laughs> you can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. Hm. We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... What's up? Ow! You <laughs> <laughs> sound fucking whack. <laughs> a frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof! Whoa! That was really <laughs> good! <laughs> a corgi with a neat plaid ha 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 handkerchief. <laughs> don't ask me, I don't know. Tied around its neck, bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Did you, did did you, you throw this thing in my head? Did you throw this thing in my head? <laughs> <laughs> Start yelling at him. Harry Potter, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> <laughs> did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> Hello. Oh. Arf, arf. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Mm, yes. Can I help you? <laughs> what? What? Ah, bark, bark. Yes. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> I quite like this dad. <laughs> <clears throat> I cannot do his voice though. Just go really, really deep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Whoa. <laughs> well, traditionally. Yeah, that's about it. Uh. Uh. I'll catch it with my teeth. Is also such a fire comeback. That's, yeah. Hmm. I'll catch it with my teeth. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm. <clears throat> you caught me off guard on this round. Not again. Not ever again. 
Whoa! I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Brian liked that. I'm Brian, Brian, by the way. Brian liked that a lot. I'm Jasper. Why did I hesitate? And this is my daughter, Amanda. I forgot who I was for a second. You hit me so hard in the head. Oh my god. I have amnesia now. Yeah. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Hi. Your dog's cool. Ah, uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts oh. it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Ten! She's a precocious little youngster. Wow. Well. My natural dad instinct kicks in. <laughs> I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no. It's happening. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Go on, Daisy. Tell them all about yourself. I could be- I could be the kids. Okay. Um, I... That's my girl! Amanda, get in there! Okay, okay. Jasper's HP. 80. Brian's HP. 80. Mm, 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 mm. What is this? Oh, daughter. Brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Brian loses 10 HP. <gasps> Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15 HP. <gasps> Jasper's HP, 65. Brian's HP, 70. Uh, uh, ooh, I wonder what an item is. Item. Ooh. Art. <laughs> you unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of- This font is killing me. Drawing <laughs> of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute. It isn't very <laughs> impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP. You regain 20 <gasps> HP! Oh my god. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my whole school doesn't have a chess club. Or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Damn. Jasper's HP, 75. Brian's HP, 60. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, uh. One more, uh, another brag. Yeah. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bag. <gasps> it's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize, a canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. How was that even possible? <laughs> Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. Damn. Jasper's HP 55. Brian's HP 40. Daughter. <laughs> Can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only daughter. <laughs> uh, item. Uh, 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 uh. Spelling bee photo. Band-aid intrigues me, but I don't want to click that one. <laughs> Fumbling through your phone's browser, you manage to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Oh, God. Yikes. You lose 5 HP. 
Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. Oh no! Oh, oh god, 40-40. Uh, uh, brag. That's so funny. <laughs> brag. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Brian loses 10 <gasps> HP. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. You lose 20 HP. Damn. <laughs> 20, 30, no. Uh, uh, uh. Item. Band-Aid! <laughs> With a flourish, you produce a band-aid from your pocket. Take a knee and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. What are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent. <laughs> Anyone would agree it's an unusual oh. gesture you lose 10 HP. <laughs> Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity, either. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her t How dare you make my daughter feel self-conscious? It's extra powerful, you lose 20 <gasps> HP. No! <sighs> Dang, you really gotta speak. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Ah! Did he have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? Woo -ga. I really like Brian. <laughs> so, I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? <laughs> we just I moved in. Hmm? His arms are so sexy. Yeah, he's he's a looker for sure. <laughs> okay, anyways. <clears throat> we just moved in. Do you live around here? Oh. Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down the next to the coffee shop. Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> what a coincidence. That's where we live too. Small world, yeah. Daisy and I are in that little ranch style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. <laughs> well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Hey. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park, with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. You get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us, hmm? Trying and succeeding? I can't believe that kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. <sighs> Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Cunningham. We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Oh, well I'm glad I have a choice, you know? <laughs> you can only nap. You're so tired. I'm exhausted, man. <laughs> All this sunlight is making me real tired. They didn't have this much sun back when I was a kid. I don't think <laughs> I, I don't think I got enough sleep last night. You slept for fourteen hours. Exactly. <laughs> As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. We start sprinting. <laughs> we get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Jasper, bro. I turn around and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. I know this guy for sure. <laughs> and his cute little baby. He's giving, this is giving, I know you haven't seen it, but uh, Peter B. Uh, Parker in Amaz Across the Spider-Verse. This oh, is, really? This is what this is giving. <laughs> Craig? Oh. Bro! Bro! Mm -hmm. Holy wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. 
It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow. You look great. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. And they were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, dude. You probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello. And hello, cute baby. Mm -hmm. Aw, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to the side of town. How's Smashley doing? I don't know. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. She actually still goes by Smashley. And, uh, we got divorced last year. No! Curses. Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Mm. It lies something, bro. Right? Big Stan Craig is a father. Of three. Mm. Peg Stan Craig? Mm. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Mm -hmm. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Mm. Oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I've brought, really got to keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly on January 1st when I promised myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. <laughs> well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. I can't. My lungs are weak from the tuberculosis. Haha. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Come on. It'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch, just like the good old days. Alright, sure. Sounds great. Hmm. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Hmm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be a respons to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time, I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, "It's basically a smoothie, bro." <laughs> I mean. Technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Huh. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Kobe, so you're in chat! Oh Hi, God. Kobe! Kobe, I'm your biggest fan. I am literally your biggest fan, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. Welcome to the stream. Everyone's coming in now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lemonade boy. No! Don't say that. Huh? Oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. Oh, oh my it's god, Shiley! Hi! Hi. <laughs> <I was like>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my god. This is so exciting. I haven't seen <laughs> Shiley in so long. I love Shiley. I, I, when I ever, Shiley, whenever I see your B Reels, I'm always like, ah, I wish I could be in the B Reel. That's honestly an actual thought that I have whenever I see it. <laughs> <laughs> you promise? Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium-sized dog, take the chip around the deck, and I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. Oh, oh. Suddenly. Oh. Is that how she laughs? <laughs> yeah, canon. <laughs> oh, okay. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls out one and throws the rest back on the floor. Yeah. This is from the Going College of Arts and Design. Open it! Hmm? But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Huh. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. Huh. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. What a badass. We have a letter opener, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes start back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah blah blah. Um, we... Her face drops. Oh no! Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to the McGowan College of Art and Design. No! Uh, Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just wanted to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. Dad hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is gonna want to snap you up for sure. Huh? Yeah. I know, it's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Yes, this is the Dream Daddy game. Dream Daddy. <laughs> I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Oh, I'm glad you're telling me now. <laughs> so... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? Uh... What dads have you met in our picture? We've... have we... whoa. We, we've met three dads? Yes. And to say we're pursuing any of them is strong. Unless you have feelings already, what are you thinking? I I have no feelings. I am an anxious dad who just moved in. <laughs> okay. 
I, I think to say you have feelings maybe is a bit of a rush. Right, right. But we met the coffee shop. I haven't remembered anyone's name except for Brian and Craig. <laughs> we met Brian, we met Craig, and we met- And Matt. Oh, Matt and Joseph. Oh, I forgot we met Joseph. We did meet Joseph. Um, we haven't even met my favorite dad yet. No, we haven't met mysterious leather dad or vampire dad. I mean goth dad. Goth dad and mysterious leather dad. Yeah. Uh, also, since you guys are here, the lore of our dad is that he is a sick Victorian <laughs> child. So that's why <laughs> that's why he looks dead and and that's why he can't grow any hair. Because he used to have tuberculosis. He used to have tuberculosis, it's true. It's true. Thank you. <laughs> we worked really hard. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. I think my mouse died. My mouse is dead! Oh, my mouse is alive again. That was, <laughs> that was weird. I could choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Wow, my own daughter. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I am secretly the <laughs> mayor of this town. <laughs> um, I'm going clubbing. Yes. <laughs> Gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. The, the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the ones all the kids are do. The kids these days are doing. Actually, lore for me is that me and my friends would pull up to the clubs in London and would do these dances. <laughs> so I bet you all are killing it. And we, we, we also made up the zombie, which is a great one. I would pull that yeah. out if you ever go to the club, do the zombie. Everyone's like, is it scary or is it sexy? Exactly. <laughs> I want to see it. I feel like you should perform it. Oh, okay. It's kind of like a... You know what I mean? Yeah, I and, can't see it, but I'm sure it was impressive. And then you, like, walk forward towards whoever you're dancing with. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Mm. <laughs> Alright, but I'm not gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. Oh, if you pull anything this time. Uh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> calling all the monsters calling all the monsters <laughs> yeah no one understands me <laughs> oh i'm just kidding i'm actually going to the club jasper <laughs> uh uh, I can't lie twice, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm life. Have fun with the Emmas. We'll try to keep it down. I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. And don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Right, right. Oh, right! <laughs> Mr. Vega. Mm. Yup, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night, Pops. Good night, daughter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rise and shine, early bird. Still wanna work out? This is Craig, BTW. Sunny days. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m.? Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. Whoops! I must have winked back out. I checked my phone again. Hey, bud. Still want to get your soul on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. 
Greg, please leave me alone. <laughs> God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out. But it is Craig. I do want to catch up. It's a tough one. <sighs> if this was like, if we were friends again, I would go back to sleep. But since we're, we're working on it, we're, we're reconnecting, mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the gym. That was brave of you. I know. My, my poor tuberculosis lung. <laughs> It'll be good for you. Uh, hey, my man. <laughs> I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet in 20. After a few seconds, another text comes in. Sure thing. Let's meet at the gym. The gym capitalized is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I stretch and my bones creak. Yeah, I know they do, poor kid. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket and... Hey, wait. I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth, throw on the only clothes that I own that are even kind of gym appropriate, and head out. The neighborhood is quiet and serene. And the music is going hard. This early in the morning, birds chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig standing out in front, stretching. Of course. He spots me and waves enthusiastically. Hey, bro. Good morning. Where's your baby? Hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely not as pumped as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. You ready to kick some butt? Help! <laughs> uh, with your help, I am Craig. Whoa. You're laying it on thick. I'm just saying. I'm just Literally, being, that's so romantic. I'm just being honest, you know what I'm saying? I get the feeling this is gonna be less of me kicking butt and more of the gym kicking my butt. But I can handle it with you here. <gasps> oh my god. Dude, bro. Means a lot. Does it, Craig? Does it crack? <laughs> Does it? We head into the gym and I am immediately intimidated. All of these people look like they could break me in half. But See, and it seems like Craig is friends with all of them. Mm -hmm. He high fives and finger guns all the cool jocks in the room. They all look like they could and would steal my lunch money to spend it on protein shakes. Nice. Come on, bud. Let's warm up. We head over to the treadmills and start walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. This is a decent place to be. Walking. So... I know we are on treadmills. Mm. Yes. And those over there are ellipticals. Oh. Very good. What is all this other stuff? <laughs> Craig laughs. <laughs> they might look a little scary, but I guarantee that all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle banks. I watch as a dude in a muscle tee flexes a muscle ad I didn't know existed on a machine I think was once used to process grain into flour. Because I remember. <laughs> From the Victorian era. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Why is that guy doing that to himself? That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? Why can't you just answer my question? Training to crush people's skulls with his thighs using a medieval torture device that my mother used. Praying to some sort of pain god. Mm, 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 mm. Training to crush people's skulls with his thighs. He's he's trying to make his thighs so strong that he could crush people's skulls with them. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I work out. Craig, 
<laughs> I need to go home right now. <laughs> oh no! Oh! <laughs> Like that. Craig is turning up the speed. I better do the same. How uh, how long have you been doing the buff thing? A couple years. And what do you do when you're not dadding or working or buff thing? Oh, I coach my twin softball team. Bye, Shyly. Shyly. I love you, Shyly. Bye, Shyly. Yeah, it was nice to see your texts. Huh? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That still counts as both dadding and buffing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I keep busy. What do you do for fun? Sleep. I love learning. I try to, <laughs> <laughs> I try to live my life as close to a Jimmy Buffett song as I can. <laughs> I just think of that TikTok sound. You know the one? Yeah. Yeah. I check out my hot bod. That's what I do in my free time. Uh, uh, I, I love learning. <laughs> I'm also just a, just a liar. I'm also a liar. <laughs> I'm a lying liar who lies. <laughs> I, I try to educate myself about the world around me. I, I'm like a sponge for knowledge, soaking up all that intellectual content. You know, history, the paranormal, wild, wild wilderness survival, uh, aliens, mostly those things. So you watch the History Channel too, huh? Yes. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> I, I, oh, I you're am literally Jasper. I am literally whoever wrote this game is a, I just is me is stopping me, <laughs> dude. I am a dad. It's true. Stop! <laughs> no! Oh, he likes that answer. We're jogging now. Oh God, we're jogging now. I look over to Craig, who hasn't even broken a sweat. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I'm dying. I can feel my life force draining through every orifice of my body. Hey, remember when my fish died in college? <sighs> no, I don't like this story. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is he really bumping up the speed again? I guess I better do it too. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. When we were at the party, and you vowed to make me feel better, you tell me to create a distraction, so of course I do a sick keg stand and get everyone cheering. And then I try to steal a fish from a fish tank at the party with my bare hands, like an idiot. And then you drop the fish, and it's flopping around, and you panic. So you run up to me post keg stand with a dying dirty fish in your hands that you scooped up off the ground and you're yelling at me that we have to leave. Oh. So we're running out of a frat party with a fish and trying to give it mouth to mouth resuscitation. We get home and get him into a bowl of water, but the prognosis was grim. And then the next day he's alive and well. Who never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge, you. And they never... Well... <laughs> I shoot off the end of the treadmill and crash into the wall. Jesus, that hurts. Nice. Dude, bro, are you okay? Craig offers me a hand and looks over, over me for injuries. Stop, we're like enemies to lovers in a, in a fantasy novel. <laughs> <laughs> That what you go through. That what your brain goes what are you, through. What are you talking about? I'm fantastic. <laughs> I managed to stand up and rub my back. Doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. You know what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, I think I might call. I think I might call our gym adventures here. Mm. You sure. Yeah. Oh. Alright, well, here. I brought you this. 
Craig hands me a shaker bottle full of a thick green liquid. I stare at it with what must be apparent distaste. Mm. It's a protein shake, bro. Dude, I've never seen this many veggies in my life. Do you not know where I grew up? <laughs> oh, thank you. He wants me to drink it. Oh boy. Here he goes. I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. Wow, this is really good. Dang. And good for you. It's my special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. Dang. Let me know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we can start running around the neighborhood if treadmills aren't your speed. No pun intended, bro. Good one. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go put some ice on this. Everything. I'll see you around. I leave the gym feeling ashamed. Craig used to order delivery from the pizza place across the street from our dorm, and now he can run circles around me. Literally. Man, I really gotta work on this dad bod. I get home and lie down on the couch. It hurts to move. Oh god, I'm so old. Oh no! I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? Shoot. It's 3.55. I'm supposed to be at Amanda's school in five minutes. I frantically put on some clean clothes, apply a generous amount of deodorant, and run out the door. Lots of running today. Yeah. Too much. <laughs> I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard. But hopefully no one will notice. I check my watch and I am relieved to see that I have only two minutes late. Wait, was it room 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing at his locker and approach him for help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vega's classroom is? The youth turns around and looks me up and down with heavily lined eyes. Do you want to be the youth? Oh yeah. Sigh. I imagine he says it, it doesn't actually sigh. <laughs> sigh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kid, I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega. I don't know. Have you tried the exit? Oh, okay, no. wise guy. Are you gonna help me or not? Sigh. Fine. Up those stairs to the left, can't miss him. I head up the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vega's class anywhere. After a couple of minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose chase. Not that punk. I get back to where I to where that low rent Gerard way is standing, <laughs> fully ready to give him a piece of my mind. When suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Oh. Lucian, don't you have a third period to get to? Literally, Mr. Vega. Uh, hubba, hubba. <laughs> <laughs> Sigh. Fine, Mr. Vega. Hmm. Wow. W-O-W. Period. World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm officially ten minutes late. <laughs> exactly, Kobe. Exactly. I'm glad we're all on the same page about that. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. Hmm. <laughs> you must be Jasper. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Hmm? Mr. Vega leads me in, and I take a seat in one of the comically small students' desks in the back. I might get stuck in this. No, I assure you, you will not. Hmm. <laughs> All right, where were we? Now, who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator in J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye? Did you ever read that? No. Me either. No. Um... Kobe, did you read it? Kobe, did you read it? We're gonna wait. <laughs> I'll wait. Like a teacher. Ah. 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 Yes, Colin? Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a farting noise. <laughs> That's oh 
so Ooh, that's that's good. good. Thank you, thank you. The whole class <laughs> erupts in laughter. Hmm. All right, all right, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Please sit down. Oh. Now, Colin Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that the bell for the end of the period rings. All the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. What? Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 of your textbook. The gay Gatsby. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Nobody's listening. <laughs> In a way. Or not, I guess. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Mr. Vega turns to me and sighs. Hmm. Middle schoolers, right? I have no idea what to do for him. Don't you teach high schoolers? Eh. Well, you know, budget cuts. That's crazy sauce. Right. Oh. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem, Mr. Vega. Oh. Please, call me Hugo. Call me Mr. Anything Vega. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Yes, know. sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but as I'm sure you know, Amanda's a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. No. What's going on? Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. I'd normally chalk it up to senioritis, but... This is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? Uh, we just moved. Dot dot dot. <laughs> well, we just moved recently, but it was only to the other side of town, and Amanda was more excited about it than I was. Oh. See if you can talk to her about it. I know she val values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. If she keeps heading down this road. Eh. I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on the scholarship on scholarship money that she clearly deserves. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Mm. When Hugo likes your daughter as much as we do, like come anytime, on. like <sighs> on my way out, I stop, thinking for a moment, and turn to Hugo. Hey, Hugo. Oh. Yes. Do you ever? Catch that rye. I. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I leave the classroom and wake my way out of the school. I'm still a bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been such a force of positivity in my life, especially after we lost her mother. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate the ride home. And maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. Huh. I pull up to the carpool, and Amanda hops into the passenger seat. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. So you talked about Mario Batali the whole time? It was a very productive meeting. Huh. I'm pretty hungry. Can you grab some dinner? No. <laughs> sure thing. Starve. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a bad kid. <laughs> we can make something at home. Let's go to the mall food court, bro. I worked out today. I deserve a little treat for myself. They didn't have food courts in Victorian England, so like I'm still getting used to them. I'm starving <laughs> from being a starving homeless child. <laughs> Let's go to the mall food court. Does that sound good to you? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Why are you? Why the mall? So... Yeah, why are you selling? What the heck? I would be <laughs> overjoyed. <laughs> Jeez, can a dad take his daughter to the mall? Hm. Will you buy me things? 
Yeah, food. I will buy you a thing. Singular. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Sounds like a deal to me. Oh. We drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I should say something. <laughs> <laughs> like a Slurpee, like a blue raspberry <laughs> slushy. <laughs> oh my god. No, because things that would send a victorious <laughs> child into a coma is a thing. <laughs> oh my god, he he can't have the Chinese food at the food court. It would kill him. It would kill him. Only pretzels. Honestly, the lights of the food court might kill him. True. Oh no. We didn't think about this. <laughs> uh, we got to silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I should say something. Yeah. <laughs> Cookie cake. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's okay, but sometimes it- uh, but also sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective. Because, you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. Mm -hmm. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's good to share. Love you! Have you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter? Hmm. What? Never mind. <gasps> you snake. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sweetie, Mr. Vega said that you haven't been participating in class and that you're not turning things in. Hmm. Oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senioritis and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vega's class. Huh. It's fine. He's fine. He is fine. God. We pull up to a stoplight and I eye Amanda. She's still texting. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh huh. I can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Uh, I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Hmm. Amanda keeps texting. She stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Uh, it's a... I don't think you'd get it. Okay. Who are you texting? Huh. Noah. Noah Schnapp? I love Stranger Things, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Noah? My friend. Does he go to your school? Huh. Yep. Do you like Noah? What? No! Dad! Ugh. I can't believe you would- Aww. Dad! I mean, jeez! I think she likes Noah. I don't know what <laughs> you guys think about that, but I kind of think I'm, she might like him. I'm picking up one of his- Something in her manner. Why yeah. Gross. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Just asking. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is going well. I can't well. imagine having a team. If someone <laughs> talked to me like that, I'd be so mad. Uh, it's the way that I would just start laughing. <laughs> I'd be like, why are you acting like that? <laughs> Only lesbians act like that. It's science. It's lesbianology. It's true, it's true. Welp. Ew, am I a millennial? <laughs> true. Literally, what's the point of keeping track when they're all dying in infancy? Are we still alive because we're a vampire? 
<laughs> oh my god, I don't know about I don't I don't know about our, our lore. I think we are a vampire. We made his eyes red. He oh. looks like a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> Welp, good talk. Love you, kiddo. You spelled your wrong. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> you also spelled obvious wrong. <laughs> She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess our conversation is over. Do them all then. <laughs> <laughs> we arrive at the mall, a big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. It's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop the mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. <laughs> Hell yeah. Language, missy. Mm. Heck yeah. Better. We approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar? Bread with cheese on it? Or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? I extend my hand to her. Could you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. <laughs> We order a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese from a very unenthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat at our rickety table and dig in. These are bad. These are very bad. But also strangely delicious? Hmm. We have to eat through the pain. We enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. So. Hmm. Something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? Mm, it hurts. It hurts. Huh. Which meme? All? All memes? Uh. Samantha sighs deeply and places her hand in her her head in her hands. Dad, it's complicated. See it. Memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by a time the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all of us youths have already done the joke to death. Dad. And what's worse is that movies and TV and video games will try and jump in on a meme train, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it and isn't funny. Oh God. shit, what up? Oh. Dad, please. Oh. Anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Wanna go to that goth store? <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, I'm not ready yet. What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as anti-establishment despite being an exact representation of the establishment. I don't know what story you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s. Hmm. Dude, you gotta be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one! Alright, All right. I love Hot Topic. <laughs> Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. There it is! You can still see the outline, kinda. That's disgusting. I'm so <laughs> proud. Speech! Amanda. <laughs> Bless you. Speech! 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 Alright, I'll do it if you stop chanting. <laughs> Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. 
Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate a historic moment that would shape, that forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda Ann Cunningham had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing uh. to the mall. After begging her father to take her to the dead, goth and beyond to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for the said merchandise, which to this day <laughs> remains among our possessions. Thank you. I was literally, th I was like, it's the Victorian child in her. Literally, it. we prophesized. Prophecy, <laughs> prophesized. Amanda is moved. She begins clapping, slow at first, then faster, and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. Yeah. Oh, hey, chain wallets! While Amanda busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try to find something of interest to myself. Not much for a dad to look at a dead goth and beyond. Look at our dad, are you kidding? I know, literally. I could see him... In, in in any of these clothes, actually. <laughs> he needed to shop here while we were trying to make him, because those outfits were not giving. Literally. Hmm. Hmm. Clearance bid for hot deals, man. What's up? There's a big cardboard box of marked down items. I'm pretty sure $4 for it. Purple eyeliner is a good deal, I think. I wonder if I would look good in purple eyeliner. You would! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes, I would. Oh. God. <laughs> God. Look, this is very important to me. We'll figure it out when I see him. I over- Hi, Dad. Hey. <clears throat> I overhear a stippled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored-looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. What? <laughs> Listen, when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian-inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly had the trademark of Edwardian dressage. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. Oh, oh I see. Well, it would seem I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. It's like I'm at home again. Somehow <laughs> I've familiar feeling bubbles in your chest, you know? Yeah. Whatever, dude. The man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they're Victorian-inspired or Edwardian in nature. No, yes, you, you can. can. <laughs> Don't lie. You're a chronic liar. I know you are, but you can tell. He's just so used to, like, pretending he's not a vampire. Exactly, exactly. Amanda trots up to me with a t-shirt in hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Ah. Hey, Dadtron 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Oh, wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops a shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. Ah. I love your hair. Huh? The cashier says nothing and brings Amanda up, radiating hatred. Wow, okay. Oh. I hand her a 20. So, what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes so hard I'm worried she'll pull something. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands Amanda her bag and it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh cool! Long Hell Paranormal Ice Cream! <laughs> Ghost Truckers is on. Your favorite, right? Totally. <laughs> oh, hell yes. And they have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. 
<laughs> also, the tracks are haunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint, Dogbone, the twin brothers. I feel like that's us. I don't know why, but that's us. <laughs> are you Callum or Flint? I'm Callum, you're Flint. Oh yeah, you'd obviously- you're Keelum- you're still Keelum in my phone. Since oh, Lord. 2020, 2019. <laughs> Good. The twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo find themselves in the great- in the greatest per peril yet. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, ooh. Oh no! The ghost done got control of the truck! <laughs> I can't steer them their damn ice roads! Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits! Flint, we're about to die! Ah, almost got it! If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying, You're going to die! Hmm. That's because we're about to die, you! <laughs> this is art. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. I stay up a little long. <laughs> she just says it so casually. <laughs> I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint Dogbone after their disastrous ice road accident. Afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. True. Yeah. Morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. You have never ever let me hide four minutes. Well, have five more minutes, so get up. Fine. Okay, I think this is a good place to stop. Okay, how appropriate. Save, 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 save. Title. Epic. Let's go. So truly, which dad do you think we're gonna date? I mean, we can date all of them. Mm. I don't know yet. We have to meet all of them first. Okay. You know? That's fair. Suss out the options. Yes, yes. Uh, quit game. Okay, well, how do you end a stream? Uh, well, that was fun. Goodbye. I think